we're creating artist studies of flowers that are very good at attracting beneficial bees. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you an art technique for making the purple coneflower. So step one is going to be to find some source material. So you're going to look for an image of the purple coneflower. You might want to use colouring pages because that will give you a solid black and white outline that you can either draw from direct observation or you could copy from your screen. The next thing you're going to do is add your tape border. And that's just to make sure when you finish, you've got a nice clean white border around the edge. When you're painting the flower, you want to make yourself a nice gradient so your flower looks 3D. And the way you do that is you pick your dark colors first and you do one edge with the dark shade. So a dark line of green along the stem and then dark areas of purple. Try and follow the leaf lines and the petal lines that you see on the coloring pages because these are the naturally darker areas. When you've painted those in, all you need to do is blend it out with some water. The other way of making that nice gradient is to use a sharp purple pencil just to put in some of those edges. On the top of the flower, after you've kind of given it that black dome, you might want to put some little orange flicks. These represent the filaments of that flower. And then on the end of each filament, you can do a little black dot using a black Sharpie. The next thing you might want to do is make your gradient background. And I've used a green paint for this background. So I blend it dark around the edges and then water into the middle so it makes a nice gradient from green to very, very, very pale. And here is your finished flower.